Good afternoon, principals, teachers, and honorable guests. I'm Terence. To me, delicacy and persistence are my two mottos in my life. I had worked at an NGO known as Teen Aids in the past, using games and art to teach sex and AIDS education in Hong Kong. Each year, we held a drama festival. Youth from schools and youth centers would go through a series of workshops and then write their own scripts and rehearse their own plays. In the workshop, we always heard the young people saying, I, I, I have a story in my mind, uh, but it is a story of my friend, not mine. <laughs> we listened quietly and carefully in the sharing. We did not challenge the source. We hope that they can share themselves more in the context of drama. In other words, we want to bridge up with young people using drama to connect them more and understand them more. In the devising class of our BFA and MFA program, we also guide our students to reflect on their past life. We do not need the original stories, but we guide them to show us the feeling here and now in terms of movement and soundscapes. Through the process of building up a story, young students from BFA program, they can learn how to face a problem and foresee the consequences in the context of drama and hope in their future, they will have a second thought before any risky action. For MFA students who are teachers and social workers, they can learn their skill here and they can try it out in their own schools or social center settings. Just now, I share about some imaginative story building. On the other hand, we have documentary theater that records and reflects about incidents happened in the past, the real past. I remember in rehearsing Fantasia on Father and Sons, actors had to interview their own fathers or other actors' fathers. In those interviews, the same incident recorded by the sons may be remembered differently by the fathers. And they never thought about the memory of fathers had got so strong pictures, expressions, and emotions. In the final product, the sons may take the role of fathers and speak the lines of the fathers in exact wordings recorded in the interview. You can imagine how they feel more about their fathers and their family as well. That kind of reversal of roles raised awareness about different perspectives on the same incidents in our same society. And it is the power of documentary theater to collect opinions from different roles and people in our same society. In the coming academic year, we would have a one year production time to make a new documentary theater with our BFA students and hope to reflect more about their lives and their society. Artists and sociologists did a lot of theatrical experiments on disability. I found site-specific performance authentic and theatrical. Doing site-specifically means putting up a performance, for example, at the temple or at a church to explore more in religion. How about letting audience go through the wheelchair pathway or crouch runway to experience the mountain climbing difficulties from an entrance of a building to a specific venue inside? Then the audience can further listen to the monologue or dialogues of the disabled presenters. They will start to understand more. Our drama school students recently have successfully applied the Creative Project Fund from HKAPA to work on projects related to disability in this year. Actually, uh, Art with Disabled Association Hong Kong and HKAPA has signed a Memorandum of Understanding, MOU, to explore more possibility on arts with disability together. We had made an accessible performance at Amphitheatre. This is the first time in Hong Kong that visual interpreters were trained to act 
and move on stage with a lot of the accessible features and artistic elements blended in together. Here we would like to share a video clip and see the production, how it goes. The drama is talking about the growth and development of the disabled artists. Let's have a look. Art can be performed or appreciated by different people in our society. And we found that arts can let me revisit our reality, reflect from our reality, and the last but not the least, to create our reality for tomorrow. Arts are for everyone. Thank you very much. <laughs> 